Well, hello there, YouTubers. Here we go. Come along with me. We're going to go through the first scenario of Mansions of Madness, second edition. Um, let's see how we do. I've played it a couple of times and I've lost a couple of times. Let's see if we can get through it fairly quickly and give you an example. There's going to be spoilers. Let's take a look inside and see how quickly we go insane. Uh, for today's game, the miniatures, they're massive when they're put on the actual... Uh, game tiles um, with the black bases that come with the minis so I've ordered some acrylic bases I'm not really worried about having the miniatures in place um, you can just use the actual uh, monster stat card so for a cultist for example you can just use a stat card just to see um, his details and when the when the bases arrive I'll paint them and, and stick them on some nicer bases just so that I don't I don't necessarily need the miniature on there so put them to the side just for today's game. We have our five uh, dice, which we live and die by, quite literally. We're gonna be playing in app. So um, I have my investigators. We're gonna do the cycle of eternity. And my investigators today are Carson and Rita. So we have Carson and Rita. So we gain our starting items. Our starting items. <clears throat> so what do we have? So you can see by the little satchel icon, that we have the Elder Sign Pendant. Let's just quickly find that. The Fire Extinguisher, the Holy Water, <clears throat> and the Magnifying Glass. Okay, Magnifying Glass. Okay, we have our five starting cards. Um, I'm by a window, so we're gonna see some changes in the light, I think, during the game. Um, you can distribute these. What's that one? So what do we have? One, two, three, four, five. Why well, have I got six? Meat Cleaver, don't need you. Okay, magnifying glass, holy water, feed the mind. So you can distribute these among your uh, investigators as you see fit. So uh, discard one horror, become focused. Uh, roll one additional die when resolving a wisdom test. So who's got the lowest, uh, not wisdom, the lowest um, observation? Three, observation five. So Rita can have this card, a magnifying glass. Uh, Elder sign, roll one additional die when evading a monster. I think that's agility. I oh, know evade is when you're trying to get out, so it's generally agility. So we'll give that to Carson. Holy water, discard one horror, become focused. So we just give it to Rita. Uh, you may want additional space. <clears throat> and fire extinguisher, discard all fire in your space. It also acts as a heavy weapon. So Rita hasn't got a weapon. You're in the investigator, become focused, and then flip this card. Okay, so you, uh, the backs of the cards have got information that you don't, you shouldn't be looking at until, uh, oh, two clues each. One, two, one, two. The backs of the cards have got um, information that you don't really look at until you flip it, because it ruins the games. So this does contain spoilers. Anyway, here we go, begin scenario. Another long day of interviews, blah, blah. I think we've all seen this. Let's speed this up. Mr. Vanderbilt or somebody like that is giving us jip. So we need to find entrance tile with steps on it. So quickly what you do is you dig through your tiles and you find the one that's gonna be played with today. So it's this one. Uh, your car rattles up the uneven drive. Pull into a stop in the front of the estate. Several cars and carriages are parked along the drive. However, the butler who contacted you is nowhere to be seen. You knock on the large oak door to no response. Fearing something has happened, you try the handle and the door swings in to a lavish hallway. Place the lobby tile and the wall tiles as indicated. So we have a wall tile there, so we're blocking this door like so. And then we continue. Ah, another wall tile there, missed that one. Let's stick that picture up. So we block off this door too. Okay, my investigators step into the reception. And we have a clue in the middle. That's uh, not a clue, a um, search token. So we have search tokens one, two, and three. So we have a search token in there, one there, and one on the table in the middle. That's you. The silence is broken by muffled shouts and sounds and crashing pots and pans coming from the door on your left. Okay, stick that in there. Explore token. Shelf stacked with books and other objects. So we can stick that one. Where's our shelves and other objects? Okay, 
I don't think it matters. I think you can stick any old thing there. So you can stick that there. You can use it as a barricade. I've not done that yet. Used it as a barricade. Other mansion doors. So we have a door there, a door there, and a door there. Okay, investigator phase. Here we go. Each investigator has two actions. Um, Rita can actually move one additional space when she's walking, and another uh, another investigator within range may perform one action. Activate this ability only once per round. So that's handy. He can give Rita, so it says, another investigator. So Carson can't use it on himself, so he could give Rita another action. So first thing first, Rita's going to search the middle bit there. So this is her first action. She's in the same zone. A disheveled piece of paper. Let's search. Paper stacked on the table, invitations with today's date, blah, 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 gain a clue. Rita gains another clue. Discard the search token. So that's Rita's first action. So for her second action, she's still in there, we can, we can take a quick look at this right hand door and see what's there. The door leads to a small front room of the mansion. Okay, we don't have to go in there. We can, you're allowed to check in app. Let's check that one. A ruckus can be heard on the other side of this door, shouting, pots and pans, and hissing. So probably a wee beastie in there. So let's move. Let's do the first thing. What's this door over here? Let's check this one up here. Deeper into the mansion. No clues there. What's this one? Deeper into the mansion. Okay. So let's search. Because Rita's not got any weapons. And if there's hissing behind the door, I don't really want to go and fight anything. An end table stands against the wall holding a telephone. So what she's going to do, she's going to start her move action and go into there. She's going to search. So her move action is she can move uh, two spaces, but she can move an additional one. So she can move three spaces. So I'm making my way to this zone here. Sorry about the light. A bit bright. Making my way to this zone here. She's going to stop on the way. So she's going to search on the way. You try the drawer, but the warped wood has left it stuck shut. So roll my power, my strength. So Rita's strength is five. So she rolls one, two, let's do, let's waste one of them for three successes. So I use the clue token to change a magnifying glass to three. One, two, three, confirm. With a powerful tug, you open the drawer. Uh, you find an item that looks like it's been sitting there for quite some time. Gain the bandages, common item. So we quickly go to the common deck. Bandages. So. Rita has gained the bandages. Discard up to two face down damage, then discard this card. Okay, that's quite handy. And we replace our common items deck. About that. So Rita is discard the search token. So we get rid of that. Oops, get rid of that search token there. So that's one, two, and probably. I think we'll, we'll leave Rita there. That's her, so she, her first act, she moved for her first action. Oh, wait, did I make a mistake? Yes, because Rita searched. Then she moved. Ah, God damn it! So, the bandages, we know are there. Let's actually let's sort that out. The bandages are there. Made a mistake there. Rita done three actions. She searched there, then she moved, then she searched. So she can't do that. So Rita is just say we move there. Carson, first thing he's going to do is move into there and search and gain the bandages. Okay, because I made a mistake. Carson is continuing to walk, so he's going to walk and stay in the same zone. Is uh, the same zone split up by these white lines as Rita. Because of that mistake, I've had to end my investigator phase. So that is where we go back to the app and we end the investigator phase. So Carson, two, he moved, then he searched. Rita searched and then she moved. Accidentally searched that thing twice. So I've given the bandages to Carson to get rid of that mistake. End the investigator phase. It's mythos. Let's see what happens. Carson Sinclair's muscle spasm and locks suddenly. Damn it. For no apparent reason, Carson Sinclair suffers one face down damage. Strength negates. So my strength is three, so I roll three dice to try and negate the one coming in and I get two successes so Carson nothing happens to Carson that's it that's not too bad another investigator within range may perform one action activate this ability only once per round so I could have left it because Carson could have give her the extra action right you live in there here we go so Rita 
is still in the lobby next to Carson. Rita's going to activate first. So let's make a note so that I know that Rita's actually activated. Just put something on her card just so I know that she's activated. So Rita's going to search. So this is her first action. Mysterious painting of a landscape. Let's see what we've got. Shadowy figures can be seen. So we test our lore. She has a lore of three. How many do we get? We had one success. So we go once, confirm it. Your recollection, there must be detail. Oh, so we missed that. So that's our first action gone. Our second action, let's do it again. I want to see what's behind that picture. So we test our lore again. This is our second action, we're searching. And we have one, and I'm gonna waste a clue for two successes. Two successes, one, two, confirm it. You identify several of the specks of light in the sky as planets. They are occupying the same blah de blah. Uh, not unlike the planets beneath the painting, a plaque reads in memory of Lilith Vanderbilt. Gain two clues. Okay, so we gain two clues. And we get rid of that search token. So, Carson can get special ability that allows Rita to do another action. So, let's explore. Shall we explore there? Let's explore. Okay, the door opens to a dim hallway. This is, this is Rita's third action, but because Carson used his special thing. Uh, place the whole corner two and the whole end. So quickly we dive into these. Press hole corner two and hole end in the tiles as indicated. So where's so this is hole corner two, that goes there. And we have sorry, that's hole end. And we have hole corner two, which is this one, that goes there. Like so, lovely. Okay, let's see what we got. A wooden desk stands against the wall, place search tokens as indicated. So we have a search there, we have a search there. The other doors lead to rooms in the mansion. Place explore tokens. Okay, so we have an explore, an explore, and an explore. You could use the surrounding furniture as a barricade. So let's put the barricade there. You may move one space into the explored area. You may move one space into the explored area, which I'm not going to do. Continue. Okay, so that is her three actions complete. She is done put a fire on her so I know that she's done. So her actions are complete, it's now Carson's turn. Carson, let's see what we can do. Roll one additional dive in evading, not doing that yet. Discard or fire, discard up to two face down damage. Okay, Carson, he has a weapon. He has a heavy weapon, a fire extinguisher. So let's go move there, one. So that's one move and let's explore that token. So Carson is moved once. His second action is, is, is to explore. Let's explore. The door swings open to reveal the dining room in chaos. Whoa, let's have a look then. Uh, an aging man in a tailcoat scrambles through the serving window into the kitchen and tries into the kitchen as he tries to escape a strange black creature writhing in the dining room table. Discard the explore token and place the dining room as indicated, done that. Let's get rid of that. Who have we got? Eugene. Where is he? Uh, tar and wall as indicated. So let's put in a, let's put a wall in. Hang on, let's find our, there we go. So another picture, that'll do. Continue. Oh, we've got a beastie on the table. A hunting horror. There we go. A hunting horror is spawned on the table. Spawn a hunting horror and suffer two horror. So my will negates it. Let's see if I can get, let's go, go, go. So I had two clues. Should I take two face up horrors? Um, 
could use my clues to stop that happening. Uh, okay, I'll take one horror, so I'll, change, I'll use a clue to change one of them to a success. I'll take one horror. Is it face up or face down? Two horror, always face up. Let's see what we've got. No additional effect, flip this card face down. Okay, so we have a horror. There, like that. That's one horror to, Eugene, uh, to uh, Carson. Okay. Center of the dining table, a carving knife sits. So we find the carving knife. Knife. Uh, where is it? Oh, is it my zone that I've just walked in as well? That's handy. So there's a knife there. And investigate, pick up the item in this space as part of a trade action. Okay, continue. So we have some cabinet, kitchen, fridge, cabinet, kitchen. Fridge. And we have Eugene. Where's he to? He's carrying in the corner over there. Okay. You may move one space into the explored area. I may move one space into the explored area. Um, Carson's second action, that is. So I think I won't move into that area right now. The beastie will come to me anyway. Maybe. Okay, let's see what we got. So we're gonna end the investigator phase there. Should I move in? Yes, I'm moving in. Okay, that's the end of the investigator phase. Confirm. Mythos. Suddenly the temperature drops and your breath misses the air. No immediate effect. Fantastic. Hunting horror moves three spaces toward the investigator within range with the lowest Observation, so three spaces, one, two. So we can go towards two with the lowest observation. So three, observation five. So it's the monster is gonna move. Hans Horror moves three spaces toward the investigator within range with the lowest observation. So range is three spaces. The doors are open, so it's got to move. One, two, it's gonna to move to Rita. The monster attacks. You hear the creature before you catch sight of it. Flying low, it slams you into the center mass, then they're slashing and biting you all the time. Suffer two damage. Strength negates. So Rita's strength is five. So two damage coming my way. Strength negates. And I rolled one. So I take one damage. Then you and the monster move one space towards the lobby. So we're in the lobby. Okay, so strength, face up, uh, become dazed, flip this card, face down. Fantastic. So become dazed, so you grab one of these puppies. Dazed means you cannot spend clues to convert dice results or any additional puzzle steps. Discard this card at the end of your turn. Okay, so Rita's dazed. Righty ho. And you both move one space towards the lobby. We're in the lobby. This, so I'm assuming, well, this is the lobby. It's both the lobby tile, so I'm gonna stay where we are. Each investigator must resolve a horror check against the monster within range with the highest horror rating. After all horror checks have been resolved, tap the ember. So within range, again, one, one, two. So three is the range. So we both got to resolve a horror check, confirm. So this is Rita first. So for three face down horror, will negates. So will is four. If you suffer one or more horror, it seems haunting next one to do there. Go. So we have one, two, and I'm gonna do another six, spend a clue to change that to a success. So that's three successes, I don't get any. Continue. And now I've got to resolve horror again for Carson. The creature makes a strange whistling noise, ta da da. So it's gonna be a Wheel check, and I need a two or better to pass it. Let's see. And we have a one, two, so I'm gonna spend a clue and pass that check. We passed it. Uh, if you fail, you're deafened for a moment and through the ring and suffer two. No, we didn't fail. If you pass, you cover your ears and wait for the first. Yeah, okay, so we passed. That's the end of the mythos phase. Confirm. Back to the investigators again. Right. Carson is now in a room where he can pick the knife up. 
doesn't really need the knife at the moment. So picking up the knife is part of the trade action. So he could pick up the knife and then go back out. Okay, let's do that. So I'm going to pick up the knife as my first action. So I have two heavy weapons. Not a good one, but and then I'm going to walk out one, two to be in the same zone as Rita. So he's done. Rita is now going to... It's Rita's dazed. You cannot use clues to convert results. Okay, mm, did I use a clue to convert a result just now? Not sure if I did. I think I might have. When the thing attacked me. Possibly, I can't remember. Never mind, video will tell. I may have made a mistake there. Not sure. I'm renowned for making mistakes. Okay, so Rita is going to attack this beast. Let's see. Um, we go into there and we attack. And Rita's attacking him. Attack with... Ah, crap. Rita's not got anything. Attack unarmed. That's not going to be good. Hang on. Let's cancel that. So Rita's not done any actions yet. So what she's going to do first is she's going to trade with Carson. So for her first action, she's going to trade. And she's going to take the fire extinguisher off of him. Like so. Okay, so she's taken the fire extinguisher off him. That's our first action done. Our second action is she's going to attack the beast with a heavy weapon. Attack with heavy weapon. You swing the weapon in a tight circle, building up momentum with four thrusting out of the creature. So I got to use the agility. So that's four on Brita. Need two or better to pass. See, two or better. So she gets a two, lovely, and a magnifying glass. Uh, if you pass, the speed of weapon slams into the beast, the terrible mass heaving backwards, the monster suffers damage equal to the weapon's damage plus your test result. So the weapon is a two, and my test result is a two, so that's four damage going to the beast. One, two, three, four. <clears throat> okay. So that's my first, that's her second action. And old uh, Carson gives me another action, doesn't he? Another investigator within range may perform one action once per round. So this is the same round, so I could attack it again and kill it. Let's attack it again. Let's kill this thing quickly. Attack. Heavy weapon. So, creature's defences before committing your attack. So I have observation. It's three. Equipment. Roll one observation die, one additional die when doing an observation test. So I get to roll four because of my magnifying glass. Let's see, I need two to two for success. We have... One, I can't spend clues. I failed. If you pass, you think you see your opportunity to take it, delivering a powerful blow. If you fail, you think you see your opportunity and you take it, realizing you underestimated the creature only as it slams you into the chest. Suffer one face down damage. That's coming our way, face down. Continue. So we didn't kill the bloody thing and that is the end of our investigative phase. <laughs>